arena to uh, how the the, 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 the the real name of the the, the, the thickness is when you have multiple personalities disorder or something like that yeah you know what I mean I guess so that's I keep that that seems to be important even I don't know can I have it? my account removed those that would be much easier to remove them here again I cannot not even change them Oh, I was seeing the last one. Hmm. Very confusing, but uh, I must say the game is very well done. Smart idea. So, uh, so far it is intense and uh, sorry, I'm a little bit quiet. But uh, I don't like to talk in the clips and also have to think because yeah, I have to translate that in my mind. And uh, yeah, also searching for clues that keeps me a little bit busy so I don't talk too much here. Hope that you're okay. I, I even expect you don't like I talk into the her talking. Because I hate those when let's play a talk all the time into other text when you have to focus on something and then get, get distracted by the let's player. I hate that. Uh, in my opinion, a let's player should uh, know when he can talk and when he should just shut up. Hmm. Ah, I keep that. It's, it seems to be an important part. Um. So that's not American date. Uh, yeah, and, uh, format. Yeah, you know, it's the day, month, year, date, not the month, day, year. Which I found anyway very confusing. And also, the time seems to be not American, so it's not AM and PM here. I don't think the time is relevant, but the... I don't know, I'm gonna watch this. Anyway, I'm still not sure what the goal of this game is. Really not sure. This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry kind of anger you can only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back, left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing and she tore it off. Eventually we grew tired of fighting and I left. Hmm. This creepy reflection, stop it. Um, so, going for sister. sister. Uh -huh. Okay. With guitar, interesting. You want me to play something? Yeah. I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay. Probably needs tuning. traditional ballad. It should be right up your street.
Get uh, uh, um, <laughs> achievement. There was a word I was searching. Oh, that it was a very long one. So, uh, was it just a song? Has it something to do with her story? Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> name of the game. So, one person wears a wig, a blonde wig. To show she can't, can't leave the attic. Don't be recognized. But uh, one sister kills another in a song. So was one identity killing the other one in like a strange way? And how is Simon involved? Obviously, Hannah was married with Simon, but the other woman. Was uh, was was she? I'm not sure. Uh, it was. Uh, she was saying it was her sister. Don't remember. He says was saying the relationship between those two women. But I'm still. I think they are the same person. Or twin sister. That would be the. Or sister at least. That would be make sense in a kind of way. But. Uh, yeah, in the moment I'm more confused than anything else, but I'm gonna watch more videos, why not? I can still, uh, and this uh, shiny thing is not the best here. I hope they stay here. So the query history seems to be... Um, Same, yeah, even when I make twice the search, so I'm gonna keep that also. Why not? Seems to be not that unimportant. Uh, when she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me. Told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. The look on his face. This freaky reflection here. <laughs> so I'm still not sure about how I should arrange this whole information. So she was saying Hannah cheated on them. Then 
the other one tries to get pregnant. Was she get pregnant when she was cheating on Simon? But why the other tries also to be get pregnant and then she has to, to sleep with strangers? That seems... Uh, I get a lot of information but in the moment not, 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 nothing makes really sense so... Uh, Maybe my mind ex explodes here because I have to think a lot, but I like that. I like games gelling my mind. Good old challenge. And uh, great. Uh, I mean, the, the game is awesome, I have to say. She sent him out the house, kicked him out called me up crying and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. Why is this police sound in the background? So didn't she say sister too because you are not her sister, or because you use normally your normal name, but you could say to your sister, your brother, sometimes sister or brother, that's not that unusual. I do that also with my sister. More in jokes, but uh, yeah, you say also mother to your mother and, that, and not her name, also to your father. So, uh, that's not that unusual. Confusing. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Our game. <laughs> Our game. So her sister is also gone. Is she a real person which is also dead? Was she killed with Simon? Yeah, so far I know maybe they are really twins. Even a lot of things make also no sense more. Make sense when they are the same person in one. But why she has to live in the same house? Then it makes no sense in the pregnancy. Or have they switched their or the twin sister and she has a uh, switch sometimes with the with her sister and fooled her husband, that makes also no sense, but uh, it's something comes to my mind. I think uh, there comes sooner or later smoke out of my ears in this game. <laughs> gonna quickly start it again. You want me to play something? No. I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay. I was looking for the correct writing here. So, guitar. Because I'm a little bit limited because I'm sometimes not sure how to write uh, the word exactly. Normally, I get help with uh, Word or Google or whatever. So, give me that here. Um, Of course, this one we had already, but uh, why is the guitar there? That's confusing me when you get a. Uh, you have to speak with the police about something. You don't have to have a guitar with you. That's confusing me totally here. No. No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. He liked to listen, but he was tone deaf. Hmm. 
Yes. Yeah, it's my guitar. Yeah, that was not even what he was. No. No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. He liked to listen, but he was tone deaf. Hmm, I'm not sure about... no. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, that was just a shh. Um, okay, um, just check quickly here. the last one, huh? We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full-time at the Glaziers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. Hmm, okay, that wasn't actually what my, my intention, but I take it anyway, <laughs> because he was obviously killed in the living room, but uh, take those. Okay. I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. I walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. But he wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Eleanor. And then I decided to come and see you. Done enough. So now the second time Eric was mentioned it and uh, those other two as I already forgot about. <laughs> I will keep that. It seems to be important. parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room, nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom, he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. 
And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come see you. That enough? What the fuck? It was almost the exact same what she's saying here. Just a little bit different uh, words, but uh, so the Eric is Simon's boss, but that was fucked up. <laughs> Just one day between these records. That was really fucked up. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, my mind had a big uh, deja vu. I'm not sure how to say that in English, you know, when you have something you think you have seen before. This one was. Very, very confusing. So now I go for Eric. It was obviously not that bad because I wouldn't think I would find those in another search. Okay, Eric is an often uh, used word here. He was wearing um, a shirt, like a blue turtleneck shirt and jeans. He has a watch, it's a really nice one. That was a gift from his boss, Eric. Mm, he had his coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants and bear. But he would have taken that with him, it's not in the house. Before I have to still uh, put some of my thoughts down, um, so obviously she came home. Maybe two different persons there. She was not finding him in his usual uh, places, so she fall asleep and then she woke up and some something was happened that she was maybe black out and not fall asleep. That would fit to my uh, schizophrenic uh, um, uh, ID. So she, sh she uh, was switching to another person then. And the other person did uh, the crime, maybe. But I thought he was Killed in the living room, but uh, obviously there is blood in the in the what is the name? Yeah, the the lowest room of the, of the building. Side or steel or yeah, you know what I mean. The, there you put stuff you don't need a lot. Or did I mix it up here something? I don't think so. Um, yeah, you probably, hopefully, know what I mean. So how she, how could he once dying in the living room and then in all this place anyway? So, uh, or was she a uh, heat wreck from the murder place to another place? But uh, yeah, I'm confused. I'm <laughs> really confused. <laughs> So, it was Friday evening, we had an argument, he left. On Saturday he didn't come back, I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon, but had a job, he didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at The Rock, that's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning, he just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark 
again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. And this, the rock that was she explaining before, but uh, I still remember that. Yes, there's a car that we share, a Cavalier, and a van we use it for work. It's owned by Eric, but we look after it. Both of them are there now, parked in the street. I'm not sure about the keys for the van. I can look for you when I get back. Hmm. The van, okay. Maybe also possible search later. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. I'm gonna listen to that quickly again. Yes, that would be in his wallet. It's a visa, a silver one. He doesn't like to spend money he doesn't have, so he usually pays with cash, but Eric convinced him to get one. So a uh, credit card was missing? Stolen? Whatever. Give me a second, I like to wrote some things down because <laughs> this game is tough and I'm not that good uh, anymore with my brain, so quickly some keywords down uh, visa credit card and uh, yeah why not when it's not important but I like to remember that and uh, hmm. shit <laughs> throw my shit on the floor ah, damn it <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, now it's now okay, it's still usable. So, um, credit card is missing. No, that was not. Oh, okay, no, it was actually to you. Uh, Eric was like an uncle to him. They were pretty close. They spend a lot of time with each other, especially when they have to go to conferences. Have you met his wife, Diane? Diane, why not? Ooh. Interesting. Exactly five ones. Diane is really nice. She helps out with the glaciers, organizes the Christmas party, that sort of thing. They have two kids, really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Hmm. So two kids, okay, I don't think that's very important. Should I put kids in here? Ma fine. Don't know if uh upper and lower case is uh more important, I don't think so or hope so. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a gift from Eric. He got it this year. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. It would have been Diane who chose it. She has really nice taste. That time... You must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. So it was Glasgow, it was not the, the, the road she was mentioned before. At least that I get right. Um so um Metal Watch. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. 
It was a good. Alright, go for a watch. Just in case. Don't sure it doesn't really, really necessary you have to have or you have uh, just a good uh, um oh I uh, don't know the word for it um yeah man you can remember s stuff good a good brain if you like so 